Welcome to LogVRP video tutorial. This tutorial will help you to define and solve a vehicle routing problem by LogVRP. Let's study on an example. Assume the following. You are a beverage or food carriage service company. You have customers which request food and beverage from your company. You want to serve your customers with an optimum transportation cost between time limits. Now assume a situation. You have two vehicles. You have four customers. Today your customers require some food or beverage around midday. How can you serve them in a minimal cost in desired time limits? Of course, by using log VRP. Let's start defining the example vehicle routing problem. Before performing any operation, let's adjust currency, unit, load type and other settings. In Operations menu, under Settings submenu, click Format. In Format Settings window, choose your currency, distance unit and capacity unit. If you want to add a custom load type, specify it. Save your settings. In LogVRP, the stations are location-based. Station can represent your customers, delivery pickup locations or vehicle starting, stopping positions. It depends on you. The depot is a special station in LogVRP. In order to model your company, it will be the depot, so create a depot. The address and the coordinates of the depot and the stations are calculated automatically. To represent your customers or delivery pickup locations, create four stations using new station tool. As you have noticed, the distances between stations are calculated automatically. Now, define your vehicles. To create a vehicle, click Add Vehicle button on Fleet tab. In the Vehicle Details window, you can specify many properties of the vehicles. Specify your vehicle name, starting stopping positions of the vehicles, are station locations. If your vehicles are not on the depot, you can create dummy stations for your vehicles to position them on their actual locations. Capacity of the vehicle has the unit which has been specified in format setting. You can specify load type of the vehicle. The average speed of the vehicle has the unit which has been specified in format settings. Oil cost per mile and fixed cost can be specified in the desired unit also. Fixed cost can be operating cost of the vehicle daily or the driver's fee, etc. The departure date and time of the vehicle is important because the vehicle may not be available any time. When you add a vehicle, it will be listed in the vehicle list in fleet tab. You can edit and make changes or remove the vehicle anytime. In LogVRP, the customer service request, that is, the delivery pickup requests to be served are denoted as orders. To define your orders, that is, customer service request, click Add Order button on the Orders tab. In the Order Details window, you can specify many properties of the orders. Enter your order ID. Specify from where the order will be picked up and to where it will be delivered. Delivery and pickup locations are the stations or the depot. Specify the amount and load type of the assets to be serviced. You can also enter the loading and unloading durations in hours and minutes. Loading and unloading durations are important in time-limited planning. If you have time limits, then specify the time windows of delivery and pickup. The orders are listed in the order list in Orders tab and also shown on map as directed arrows. You can edit and make changes or remove the orders anytime. Now we have defined the vehicle routing problem. You can compute and get best routes without saving the data. However, saving data before any calculation is recommended. In LogVRP, the stations, orders and vehicles are not saved when you create or make changes. Therefore, you have to save them for later use. Moreover, the stations, orders and vehicles are not saved or loaded alone. They are saved or loaded as a set, that is, as a collection. Now, let's save the data. In LogVRP, the orders and vehicles depend on the stations. Therefore, the stations must be saved first. To save stations, Click Save Station Set under Save Data in Operations menu. Give a name and click Save. To save vehicles, click
click Save Vehicle Set under Save Data in Operations menu. Give a name and click Save. To save orders, click Save Order Set under Save Data in Operations menu. Give a name and click Save. Now let's come to find optimal routes for the vehicle routing problem. Before finding optimal routes, adjust computation settings in the computation tab. You will see the available algorithms, that is, VRP solver methods in the algorithm list. The checked algorithms will run to find the optimum routes. You can edit the algorithm parameters which are important in fine tuning. In computations, you may choose whether the real road distances or just the crow fly distances should be used. While you are adding stations or making changes to stations, the distances between stations are calculated according to your preference. If you do not want real road distances to be calculated while you are adding or making changes to stations, then you can specify it in the computation tab. Now let's find the optimal routes by clicking Calculate Routes button. Click No if you don't have a solution or if you don't want to compare your solution with log VRP solution. The selected algorithms will run at the same time to find optimal routes. This will provide you more than one alternative solution. When the algorithms finish the calculations, the solution, that is the results, will be listed in the results tab with cost, distance and travel time and computation time. You can select a solution to see the road details and you can compare the results according to your needs. By clicking the roads of a solution, you can see the delivery pickup steps of a vehicle to perform. Click each road step to see the road segments on the map. To see the roads as real road lines on the map, click Show Results as Roads in the Result Map View menu. If you want to see and analyze the results in more detail, click Show Detail View. In the Detail View grid, click the road to see the details. You will see the load of the vehicle before and after deliveries and pickups, the arrival and departure date time, travel duration and capacity usage of the vehicle. That's it, you have alternative optimum routes. Choose the solution that fits your needs best. You can export the chosen result rows with the addresses and directions into HTML and assign them to your vehicles as jobs. To export the roads, click Export the HTML and choose Results in Operations menu. List of roads, the map, addresses of the stations and directions of the selected solution will be exported to HTML. In Exported Result HTML, you will see the map, stations to visit, addresses of the stations and directions between stations. You can use web browsers, print options. Start to profit easily by using LogVRP. For more details, please visit logvrp.com.